when we were delivering the currency, one guy was already inside the other side of the south door. It didn't feel right. Something just felt really bad. I remember just seeing him point the gun and the way he looked. There was such evil in his eyes. He wanted to kill me. I was born and raised in Los Angeles County. I was a former Catholic, uh, born and raised into that religion, uh, obviously from my family. I was a former musician. I played bass in a band. Uh, I was working for a armored car security company. One morning, as Richard and his partner began their usual route as armored guards, they knew it wouldn't be an ordinary day. Before I knew it, my partner falls backwards. I fell down against the door. My life could have ended right there and I would have been, I, w I was going to be saved on judgment day. That night shook Richard. And as he continued to work for the same company, a coworker named Tony began a conversation that would change his life we started talking about the Bible. It was during a New Year's day, and it was a holiday. We were upstairs in the locker room. He was reading the Bible, and we started conversing. He actually requested me to be his driver throughout our 12-hour shifts, sometimes 16-hour shifts we were working. We were talking about the Bible and our Almighty God. Tony invited Richard to attend Bible classes in the Church of Christ, and Richard began to reflect on his situation. The way I was living my life, I was not serving God. I was living my life um, disobedient to God. So God wants everyone to come to the knowledge of the truth. And it took me a long time to do that. As Richard continued to attend Bible classes in the Church of Christ, he was learning God's Word straight from the Bible. Tony encouraged him to compare this to what the Catholic Church teaches. So. I made an appointment to go see a priest. Is Jesus Christ God? He couldn't answer anything. He didn't know. The second one was um, about saints and Virgin Mary, the Catholic Virgin Mary. He had no answer. I was angry with the Catholic Church. I felt deceived. They do not focus on the truth. That was really an eye-opener for me. You want to serve God. Pray for a deeper faith and understanding because it wasn't until I started praying for that that I saw God working in my life. Richard could feel God pulling him closer and closer to the truth. I was going through Bible studies, learning more the truth. And from there, I, my mind was just so overwhelmed that it was such a blessing to know the truth finally. Today, Richard is even more thankful he is still alive to serve God in the true Church of Christ. My life has changed drastically. I'm just doing my best to serve our Almighty God.